So, uh, one of the things you need to understand as you are tripping around Australia, um, caravanning around Australia, is wave etiquette as well as the types of waves that can be executed while driving. You may or may not know that us caravanners, we love to wave at people. It doesn't matter who's here's someone here. <laughs> it doesn't matter that uh, whether you're pulling a caravan or not, we love to get a wave on. And uh, so the first thing you need to understand is you don't want to waste people's time. You don't want to make them wave for too long. So distance is really important. Uh, and I, I believe the, uh, the sweet spot is about uh, 10 feet from the passing car. So you really do want to time it. We've got a truck coming up, coming up here. So you don't want to go too early, um, but you definitely don't want to go too late because then they lose their opportunity to wave back. Um, so it's really important. Uh, also, you need to understand that uh, if you are waved at, I believe you are obliged by law to wave back. Um, so it's really important that you have correct wave etiquette uh, as, you, uh, as you trip around. As far as types of uh, waves go, there are a few. This is not an exhaustive list, but this will definitely uh, get you started uh, in your uh, waving um, experience. So the first is called the Lazy Man. It's definitely the most efficient and the easiest to do. And your, your hand is usually on the top of the steering wheel. It's just a simple one finger lift as the, the car is passing. Uh, it might be um, paired with a head nod, but it doesn't need to be. And so it's just a simple one finger lift as the car is passing and, uh, and you're good to go. Um, if you're feeling a little bit more energetic, definitely could go for the two finger wave. Uh, it takes a bit more energy, but, um, but it, it's a good wave to do. And it's just, a, again, a simple lift two fingers in the air, a little bit more visible to the oncoming uh, wave recipient. Um, and then if you're really um, looking to, to get a good wave in, you might go for the, uh, the five finger wave. Still don't have to lift the hand completely off the steering wheel, but you'll go for the full five finger wave. That'll get a good response. Now, if you want to get a little bit more serious, and I find um, this next one works really well with the, uh, the gray nomad population, you can go for the, the salute. And it's just a simple hand off the steering wheel and Usually a two finger salute will do it. Um, now if you're looking to up your skill a little bit, um, this next one I learned from my mate Nick from uh, uh, Cotez Cruise Oz. Uh, it involves a, a little bit more wrist action and uh, it's just a point and shoot. So um, it just looks like this. And uh, usually you can get that on target every time. Um, <laughs> now the next one uh, is a really good one for a fellow uh, caravan owner of the same make and model. Um, we tend to get a little bit excited when we are about to pass someone who has the same sort of caravan. Uh, definitely you need to save your energy for this one. It does take a bit more. Uh, and it could look something like this. And usually get a great response uh, with that one. Finally, and I would really save this one for special occasions, maybe if you're getting tired, uh, you do have to be a little bit careful about where you pull this one out. but. Um, it, it does allow you to you know, wake up a little bit if you're a bit, a bit uh, snoozy. Just, it does ruffle, ruffle some feathers, but you just take that two finger wave and you just turn it around and you do one of these. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, hopefully you're going fast enough that there's no repercussion. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. That, uh, that's a good start to the, uh, the wave toolkit. Show us your wave. Uh, I'd love to see some of your, uh, your best waves and, um, to uh, everybody getting the wave on.